Oh, are we live? <laughs> oh, okay. Well then, everyone. Bottom left-hand corner. Uh, I believe this is Iron Fortress off the top of my head. And in the bottom left... What? Yep. It's Iron Fortress. Great. Thanks, Trigonal. Love you, man. But in the bottom left-hand corner, we have the Red Darren player tripping us up with a Dust KR from Dust Gaming. It is Cyark. Saber says 10 seconds, and then Trigonal and I are both just waiting, like, okay? Okay? Well, in and fairness, it like... wasn't so much waiting as talking over the three-second countdown. Oh, <laughs> no, we weren't <laughs> talking over him. No, no. Bless me, they, they probably heard it. They probably heard it. There's no point lying. <laughs> Either way, up here in the top left-hand corner, we've got our blue Protoss player. He is representing Spenu. It is Stun. Do -do -do. Just felt right, felt good. But uh, Stun opening up, nothing too crazy. Is going for the double gas, but only two into it each time, unlike the game one we saw. Or not the game one of this series, but the game one of the previous series. So, I mean, everything kind of opening up pretty cool. But uh, actually from Cyark, interestingly enough, I'm seeing a lot more of his build doing the CC first and do a double, and do just a double rack. Sometimes I've seen a three racks off this, actually. Yeah, and that, yeah, just the two racks, it's kind of a... I don't know, I guess it's a bit more economical. Yep, Three racks going to go down there, so... Uh, you do get a few more units off of that, and I guess it's... It's probably a bit more aggressive on the two racks. You can still afford to, uh, like, get enough to out to defend an Oracle, but put a bit more into Econ, maybe. Uh, I don't know, I don't I don't know too much about the nuances of Terran builds, but... Uh, either way, pretty economical for both players. Uh, a little bit mm -hmm. more so for Sayak, obviously, with the CC first, and Iron Fortress, it's a... I mean, it's a decent map to do it on. It's a yeah. big, big uh, Forspawn map. I This is not the map I'd choose if I was stunned to pull out a Proxy 1 gate or even a Proxy mm -hmm. 2 gate. Uh, well, much less a Proxy 2 gate, in fact. And, yeah, Syok's going to be able to scout around with his SCV, so he'll get a handle on at least some of what Stun's doing. Though, of course, unfortunately, a Stun scouts uh, Syok first and uh, Cyark scout stun last, so he's not going to see much. He might even not even not actually get a handle on the Nexus timing or anything. But eh, it's okay. It's it's fine. Yeah, what's really interesting right there from Stun is he only actually was able to scout one Rax right here, and obviously, probably your opponent's going to go pretty heavy into those Raxes because you are doing the one. Um, uh, CC first, but I mean he not he didn't he didn't even get to scout the gas here So that was a pretty well denied scout even though it got so far into the main base of Cyark So um, I mean, I, I'm feeling pretty good for him right now as you're mentioning his SCV is going around the map It's gonna get there very late though mothership core is already gonna be there All you're gonna see is okay There is a natural base and I mean you kind of assume that but it is the it, it would be the worst feeling ever to move and be like No natural base no, but uh, uh -oh. it is gonna be that Oracle right there And I, I'm actually really like Oracle on this map only just because the Main is so big. You can I, there's so much there's so much room really to kill stuff, and I mean that it is in there's so many different places an SCV can put something down in here that's just farther far very far away from every, any other location. So you can really really easily pick off building SCVs, but you can also just go into the back easily and get out mm -hmm. on the right hand side because I mean it's just a huge huge main base. Yeah, it's uh it's it's pretty big. There's lots kind of room and a bit even of kind of like yeah backing uh, the. Uh, Mineral line even does back on a little bit to this uh, kind of airspace bit, but either way, the Oracle is going to come in here. Sayak has a pretty nice position on these Marines, I have to say, so it's going to be a little bit difficult for Stun to actually find an angle uh, to get into the, the Mineral line without those Marines being ready. But in the natural, that's an entirely different story, and uh, one, just one SCV goes down, actually. Nice, timely pull. Stun considers moving that around for second, oh. and yeah, this is saying, superlative yeah. defense here by uh, Sayak. Just bring also, out the one kill on that Oracle. Yeah, it does get one kill, but that was also beautiful microing of that Oracle. Very easy to lose in those situations. Now there's two in, in the army, and neither Oracle uses its entire photon, or sorry, not photon, China. what am I talking about? Neither Oracle uses an entire pulsar beam, and I mean, because of that, it's still kind of, it, it's up in the air right now for Cyark. He knows it can come back in and get a lot of damage done, and it looks like both are going to go in at the same time. He does not have any little, like, uh, seconds of time, but actually there's enough, too, here. We'll be able to kill these, uh, we'll be able to kill the Marines, but they got to be careful about this middle missile turret, and finally in the top right, that SCV, actually, sorry, not won't get a scout, but setting in a strange, a little bit of strange pattern right there, doing a V. 
Yeah, I just I guess he's there to check third bases. Because, um, of course, Stun doesn't really want to be expanding towards Psy uh, unless he's going for something crazy. But speaking of something a little bit crazy, we do see the Phoenix is coming out. Uh, a little bit late. Uh, of course, the robotics bay is already out. Could be seeing some Phoenix Colossus. Uh, it'll be, it'll be pretty fun. I, I'm always on board for a player who does Phoenix Colossus. And uh, wow, Stun actually has double observers out the front. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like this is like some kind of rally point mistake. Almost. I don't want to criticize Stun too much because he is a far better player than I will ever be. But um, I don't see any reason for him to have both observers out here. One of them could be he's got the main base or just back at home and think. The oracles uh, kind of veer around that bunker. Um, they're looking for an angle, but it's going to be tough to find one, especially with that missile turret uh, at the front. And Sayak is wisely choosing to build his barracks near them, so he doesn't even lose the uh, building SCVs or anything. Mm -hmm. But a stun moves up here to put a pylon up there. Kind of indicates he's looking towards taking that in, uh, third base. Yeah, and I'm liking Stun's decision, even though you don't normally see the High Templar Archives like we saw in the previous couple games, but I like his decision not to do that, actually, just because for for his opponent, Cyark, I mean, Cyark's tech is so, so late because of the, just the mass amount of racks he's putting on. Very heavy bio armor, but he's not going to have that many medevacs to really support any of this army. So the sustain... So this, this, whoa. The sustainable DPS the Colossus are going to be able to push out is also good. Now, on the other hand, you could say High Templar Storm is quite good also because there's not that many medevacs, but I think it's just a better decision, especially on this big map. There can be lots of concave, lots of things that can happen while you really just want something that can keep pumping, pumping out DPS. But for now, we also see, interestingly enough, Stun is going to these Phoenixes, and I, I really love this. Even if you're not necessarily going Phoenix Colossi, which, I mean, it looks like he is, but just getting out one or two after you get those initial oracles out, and you can deny so many drops, get such good map control and scouting i like that but for now really just hanging in the back of the base and not showing themselves but with the right micro they can easily pick off any of these medevacs if uh Cyrus is not careful yeah very much so they're also going to be great against those vikings uh Cyrus is going to have to do a bit more work actually manually targeting down the colossi rather than just letting the vikings mm -hmm. fire at will because then they'll go on the phoenixes without getting their bonus damage to armored and obviously the phoenix is just kind of tank for colossi the colossi they may not be yep. as cost efficient for tanking but uh and ultimately the colossi kill everything and speaking of kill everything um it looks like stun's third base is not gonna be long for this world but things is coming in we can't really catch this bio army and uh maybe it's a good thing anyway because the colossi were kind of a little bit far back there anyway but mm -hmm. either way nice nice pickup for Sayak. Yeah, a very nice pickup for Cyark, and it was almost looking a little bit scary for those medevacs for a second, they did get away, even though, as you were also mentioning, Stun, yes, a far better player than either of us will ever be, I think he could have done a little bit more with this, those Phoenixes right there, sniped some more, but for now, I mean, just kind of pulling back, and I mean, really, because of the Phoenix Colossi composition, you're forced to get a lot of these Zealots, but... Stun does not have any charge, and that's, I mean, that's the only way he's going to really be able to catch the army when it gets to his third base before he's even ready. And he does not have that, and does not even have it any time in the future. I don't even think he has a Twilight Council yet at the moment. And so it's going to be an interesting battle for him just with this many Zealots that he's going to keep having to add into the composition because of this Phoenix Colossi style. And without a third base, you just don't have that extra gas to be able to really do much. Yeah, I mean, the Zealots are a bit better than the Zealots anyway, than their stalks the actual combat units. But here we see a great engagement here for Stun. But now, as the Bio actually steps forwards, forcing the Colossus back a bit, uh, a couple of the Colossi are going to start to fall. Uh, however, I mean, actually, no, there's not much gateway units here. It's really just these Colossi, and they're going to use the high ground as best they can. But I don't know. I mean, there's, there's nothing to actually deny Sayak from just moving around to that third base again and taking it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Cyark even mm. pumping up, uh, sorry, not pumping up, what am I saying? Uh, three more medevacs coming out of the middle map, getting lots of units in them, and they're really going to reinforce, and I am, oh, actually, they're not, I thought, they're, I thought they were, uh, what am I saying, Look, looks like it'll be Marauders, but for now, as you were mentioning, with Stun's army, he's, he's just got so few gateway units here, and the third base economy only now is getting up, both players are actually completely even on workers, and the third base economy of Sark is, is now getting up himself, but I mean, he's got mules, he's, he's going to be able to capitalize off that base so easily, while Stun is still in a very scary situation. I mean, especially the Phoenix is trying to be clever and pick up those Marauders, but I think they should have just been gone for the Medivacs. Yeah, possibly. There was only one that actually got out of the battle, but Zayak's been pumping them out. Uh, so he has got quite a few now, and it looks like he's kind of looking to drop on top of the army, trying to pick up, use the Maru style of dealing with Colossus, and it's going to be successful for the one Colossus, pushing through the force fields. He's looking for the second Beautiful one. Force uh, oh, fields. but the Marauder picked up wonderfully by those Phoenixes. Gonna save the Colossus for now and a warping of both fields 
doesn't quite manage to save the last couple of Colossi and one more Colossus on very very low health gets taken out this leaves uh, Stun with nearly nothing in his army. Another reinforcing cross is going to come down, but so many Marauders here are going to demolish the probe line. But you know what? They don't do jack against Phoenixes. Yeah, 15 Marauders. I was noticing, I was like, wait, there's only one Marine left, and these Phoenixes will save the day. Only surprisingly enough, seven workers killed, so Stun is holding onto this third base. But on the other side, Sark, yes, a lot of his army was killed, putting out a lot more racks, though. He's getting up into the, he's, I mean, he's really understanding, okay, I, I gotta bring this to the late game, but I've done a lot of damage again and again and reset the Colossus count so many times. He's really feeling okay, not deciding to go into anything like Ghost Tech. He, I mean, just really, he's, he's playing very well on bio, and each time just needs slightly more, and I think he's going to be able to do that if these Phoenixes aren't really careful and do get picked off, because each game, just all the healing capabilities are, sorry, each engagement, all the healing capabilities are completely nullified by these Phoenixes. Yeah, very much so, and uh, second Stargate, even coming in now from Stun, wants to really boost that Phoenix count up, and I'm wondering when he's, because he, he is making a solid commitment to Phoenixes, I'm wondering when he's going to throw down the Fleet Beacon and actually start getting the range upgrade, because I feel like yeah. that's where the Phoenixes really start coming into their own, being able to actually like harass at the uh, Medivax from outside of the Marine range, uh, going up to 7 range with that, um, yeah. uh, with that upgrade, so... Whoop. Back nice run by almost going down the third base, but actually in the middle of the map, Phoenix is, oh man, so many Marauders right here. Not that many Marines, finally enough Marines to actually push him away, but uh, barely, I think he did lose a Medivac right there. But back to the third base, I'm really yep. liking these warp ends from Stun, but Cyark in, inadvertently was prepared with that bunker, really anticipating Stalkers, something coming up from the uh, second or actually, I guess, the top right opening to that third base right here, but they will get those zealots, and for now, I mean, Sark's pushing forward very aggressively. There is a decent amount of phoenixes now. That is nine phoenixes, three colossi, but really, I mean, just the amount of marauders with this army, that is 22 marauders will shred anything. Yeah, I mean, they're so hard against these zealots is the thing, uh, but they're going to be able to fight no back very nicely. Yet. But the whole time they're kiting... Oh my god, big Winnerman hit goes down on actually all of those uh, phoenixes, though it does clean up the uh, zealots quite a bit as well and beautiful beautiful there for Sayak it's gonna basically kind of allow him to just push through with a lot of the zealot tanking eliminated and take out these last couple of colossi but again just a handful of marines left over but where are the phoenixes they've all been taken out yeah, all the Phoenix have been taken out. There is double Stargate for stun, but nothing being started for him. Eight workers going down. He was trying to get oh. plus one attack for these Phoenixes, but the third base is pretty much all destroyed. And Colossus oh. moves in the main of that army. I mean, as you were mentioning, yes, GG. <laughs> uh, hello, hello, everybody. Oh. We are back. It's going to be Varney Reset Station, of course, for game number two of match number two and down here on the bottom side of the map we have the player who's currently down 1-0 the red protoss player representing Spinu it is Stun and his opponent in the top spawn position it is the blue Terran player Hailing from Dust Gaming and Korea. Or actually, wait. No, no, not Korea. Um, Japan. Taiwan. Right? Japan. Japan. Oh, crap. I'm completely wrong here. I knew he wasn't from Korea, though. I was right, right there. But he's part of Dust KR. We have the one, the only, Cyark. I was trying to remember the, uh, the, the flag right there. And for some reason, Taiwan. Well, yeah, they are pretty similar the flags, uh, Korea and Japan. <laughs> They're both kind of white with a circle in the middle. Oh, I wasn't talking about Korea, man. I was talking about Taiwan, but I don't know. Uh, I can't think of the flag. Uh, I don't know. Taiwan's flag is completely undissimilar. To no, 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 no. Yeah, no, that's what I was going to say. I don't think it's anything near it. But for now, you know, Sayar getting an early scout, making sure nothing. I mean, he, actually, not even making sure anything is going down. He's pretty much just, you know, screw your Nexus, man. But he can still throw it down because it wasn't quite there. <laughs> That, uh, that, that Pentagon, That's... the Pentagon, or not the Pentagon, that wasn't a Pentagon. What's a five? No, maybe it was a Pentagon, I don't know. I don't know much. It's a Pentagon. It is, thank you. Thank you, yeah, British. The American education system. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Establishment. <laughs> thank but, you, uh... British education system. <laughs> yeah, the Reaper jumps up that cliff right now and uh, makes his way into the middle line. Just going to poke away, but must have caught there to greet it, and it's going to greet it with laser beams. And... I mean, the Reaper, allergic laser beams, runs back off. Stun, though, is once more sending the probe kind of on the high ground, hoping to juke around and avoid mm -hmm. Reaper's clutches. 
and they were going to kind of converge uh, Stun's worker and Syok's worker as they both go into the base. But without a ramp, there's no real way Syok can deny the scout. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so really quick, last time on Vani Research Station, we saw the DT's mine. What is going on with the Reaper's head? What is his game plan here? Uh, well, it's going to be a bit more difficult to actually scout that out because there was there is another Twilight Council coming down. Uh, Blink is the more usual opener. Uh, Stun's actually Reaper walled here, and the Reaper is actually in a really nice position. I actually don't think if unless the Reaper actually ventures into the middle line that mm -hmm. it can see this Twilight Council. It knows that there's a pylon that well, or there was a pylon in construction down there. So if there's any tech, this would be the place to hide it. A scan could very yeah. well be used in a about a minute or two to actually determine what the tech is. But yeah, the Reaper is going to be much less useful for scouting than it might otherwise be, uh, especially with Stun getting his Stalkers out now to actually be able to drive it off. Oh, oh, he sees this probe, though, hidden over for Pylon, or a potential proxy later Beautiful. in the game, and it's going to take it on out. Uh, but Syark himself looks to be getting ready, preparing for a Widowmine drop. Yeah. Or at least a Widowmine Oracle Defense into drop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I'm really liking this opening from Cyark. Uh, very common Terran opening, but I, I like that he's not doing something a little bit crazy versus a Blink Stalker play. you got to be really confident in what you're doing here to really be able to push off the good Blink Stalker plays. And I mean, a Spenu player, as you're mentioning, is going to be quite good at this. I like... I actually really like this SimCity for stun right here. You can only get in through the mineral line, and that is just beautiful. I'm really, I'm really excited to see how he's maybe going to be able to use this on some drops, but it looks like he will be going blink. Does not have that much map control, sadly, because of that Reaper, but is finally getting a pile on the left-hand side. We'll go up to scout the third, and right now, just for a Cyark, I mean, getting up a big, big bioeconomy. Yeah, Stun Sim City actually ends up hindering him a bit against drops. As much as it is great against Reapers yeah, yeah. in the early game, uh, just imagine this, like, nice little look nook that uh, two or three medevacs worth of units could get themselves into uh, between the warp gates and stuff. Firing away on that uh, on that probe line, maybe even a couple marine, uh, marauders pumping away at the nexus, and only like two hexes, maybe three of zealots can actually get in and swipe mm -hmm. away at them. So right. it works against him later on in the game, but uh, right now uh, we've got it. six gates. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be his main concern here, because as I said, Six gates coming in, lots and lots of stalkers being plumped out, pumped out, and blink ready and raring to go. He's going to move up this ramp. Uh, there's a widow mine, but nice blink. blink aggressively forward, split second decision there, and it looks like he's going to pay off him. He's killing off all these marines here. Syarch's uh, army's probably falling and falling, falling. These six marines that are ready to defend an oracle are going to come up here, and it looks like he will push these stalkers off the road ground. But the mother support provide high ground vision. It's Ooh, only going to be a temporary state of affairs. Yeah, and Time Warp does also slow down these units' attack right here, so the Marines can't quite get as much as they want down. Finally, the Widow Mine's gonna have barely enough health back. Bunker is just about done, but 11 workers have been killed so far. And, I mean, the SMB's not even attacking right there. Ooh, if they would've attacked right there, they would've got some friendly fire, but finally the Bunker goes down. In the very beginning of that attack, literally the second the Stalker was seen going up the ramp, I saw the Bunker being queued up, but, I mean, Syrup knows he's in a scary position, situ situation right now and does not even have enough oh. marauders. Even the Blink up into the main, We'll just snipe those Marauders. Another time warp goes down. I love that stun. He, I mean, he knows he does not need to recall back. Getting a lot of damage done. But there's still not another warp in it, and there's not that many Stalkers left. Four Stalkers can attack for a while, but actually will lose one. Yeah, two more are, have just completed at the proxy pylon. But uh, very, very low on gas right now is stun. He might even want to throw down another one back at home. He's got plenty of minerals and... Uh, not so much in the gas count, but a few uh, a few zealots actually end up being his choice. However, they're just going to be fodder for the... Oh my god, it actually goes down. The Mothership Core goes down. Fodder for the Widowmine, and these all these STVs are going to be able to repair this monk to their heart's content. Uh, Stalker goes down, and another Widowmine. Oh, oh nice. it's too late. The cooldown is not there, and another Stalker gets taken out. Zyark moving forwards with his last few Marines. Oh, it does manage to retake the high ground, and given that the Mothership Core was taken out, going to be a big, big effort from Stunt to actually reclaim that with the Widowmine and the Bunker there in preparation. Oh, but the Marines are not going to be the Bunker this time. Widowmine is down. We'll get a little bit of damage out of these Zealots. 
A lot of SCVs being pulled from the top, the top part of this base right here will be coming from that mineral line, trying to get as much damage. A very nice surround, but Blink's completely out, and the bunker's still there, but those Marines just terribly out of position. Both players are actually only one worker apart, but so many workers for Cyark are not actually working. It looks about half of them, 15 workers aren't working, but another Blink up. Zealots will be able to clean up a lot of these SCVs here, finally. Yeah, the Marauders being focused fired down expertly by Stun, and... Zyark hasn't been able to get up Stim, hasn't been able to get up uh, Combat Shields or even Concussive Shells, and now Stun can just kite back and kill off these SCVs. Fantastic. Oh, juking back uh, to stop himself getting surrounded there. He's going to lose a few Stalkers, maybe up on this high ground, but the SCV count is plummeting right now for Zyark. I love that. Blinking back onto those Zealot reinforcements. The SCVs will engage that. There is one desperate Marine in the bunker, but so little is there for right now for Sark. For a while, he was going pretty even, but now he is down 15 workers to uh, Stun's 35. And, I mean, just getting so much damage done. There's so little Sark can do. He's got, I mean, he's literally just got nothing left in the bunker. The original defense never was able to really get up and get into full force. Yeah, and uh, GG says Sark. match it is currently one to one here we are spawning in on coda in the bottom right hand corner representing dust gaming it is the blue terran player cyark and his opponent is gonna find himself up here in the top left hand spawn the red protoss representing spinu it is stun I like you a little bit trying to emulate them Koreans, dem Korean. That that one guy who everyone knows, but no one actually knows his name. Who does the Korean intros? Actually, yeah. wait, I do know his name. I I, I looked him up one time, but oh really? I was, I was, yeah, I looked him up one time because I was like, wait, you're the one guy like no, everyone knows you, but no one actually knows who you are. You're like, oh yeah, so, you're the intro guy. Innovation. Yeah, yeah, innovation. Yeah, however, yeah, whatever you just did, you did it really well. You wanna be racist and do it again? Innovation. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. All right, but I mean, coming off from Sar, double SCV going off into the middle of the map. This is interesting because he's already got his racks down. Well, he's already got his racks down, so it's kind of like get another one down and uh, pump out a bunch of reapers. Or no, he's going to get a factory down and pump out winter mines. That's my prediction. Okay. I like the Widow Mine idea. I don't think the Reaper's a good idea since you're only on one gas anyways, and you're going to want to use that for some other stuff, but it's it's just a... It's, it's an interesting decision because I feel like this is kind of something that... You open up like this so your opponent can scout it and say you're not doing anything cheeky, but he will be going for that factory right there. But, I mean, he's going to have to make the factory, then make the starport, unless he wants to walk the Widow Mines all the way around the map. It's just, it's an interesting decision. I'm curious to see... I'm. I'm Curious to see why he did this, or if it was just a build on this map. I think it'll be the starport as well. Uh, Stun's actually scouting around all the typical kind of proxy anything locations. Has he scouted? No, he hasn't no. scouted. No, he has not. Um, just looking for these proxies. Uh, also, sending it around to avoid a Reaper um, the long way. And of course, Sayak, I like this decision to build it up on the high ground because it's a lot more difficult to scout and yeah, definitely. not really much further away, especially given you're going to go, you're going by air, so the terrain doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. at first I was thinking, well, it'll take a while to get that starport done, but I think it'll even up just to be about right. I love it on the high ground, too. Sometimes see Protosses do this just because you can warp in on that low ground, but as I was mentioning before, I think the probe died going up into the natural base, but if you do scout the racks like this, um, now, at this point of the game, yes, it looks very fishy, but maybe a minute, two minutes earlier does not look quite as fishy as it does right now. Yeah, I maybe. I mean, either way, uh, the probe did just get taken out, uh, but what it saw wasn't anything too unusual. I don't think it got far, far enough no, it didn't even to get see whether or not... Or yeah, sorry. no, it didn't see... Uh, it didn't kind of confirm, oh, there's no CC. So he just doesn't really know uh, any of what's going on right now, and uh, so he's not really going to be prepared for these. Does he have any sort of detection? No, he's just got that... Uh, blink. Got that Twilight Council for Blink. And this is going to be actually Hellions coming out. Um, mm -hmm. One would of mine, couple of Hellions. 
Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I'm liking Blink versus this. We're gonna. This is really gonna be stuns micro. And if Blink is actually gonna be even ready when this Widowmine goes out, and actually a couple of Marines could go in this medevac, but it looks like it's just gonna be the Hellions. And I, li I, I'm really liking this from both players. Even though it looks scary for stun, if he can wait out till he gets Blink, he could deny a lot of this. But the, I mean, the drop's gonna be there even before any of this happens, and there will be a photon overcharge of the natural, but not much more into oh. the main to defend. Perfect. I uh, like Sun's big hope for holding this off was the photon overcharge. Now the Hellions, the pro pull is forced by the Marines, uh, by the Widowmines even, and the Hellions have a field day here. Uh, they even get down into the natural um, where the photon overcharge is, so that's a bit of a strong point. And Sun's fast reaction time though is going to deny this from doing too much damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and eight kills do go down. Maybe you want some more, but now, oh, this medevac may not. Oh, it's, 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 it uh, itself isn't sure if it can actually get out here. But finally, the robo uh -huh. facility will get out for stun. And what am I down? And yep, goes, uh, I guess, I guess it's cool. goes into the simulator. Very anticlimactic here. But on the other side of the map, we see stun getting ready to, I hope, throw a pile down to the third, checking for a third, making sure that Sarg doesn't move out. But I'd actually like that what am I to go to the natural base because right now, I mean, Sire, sorry, sorry, uh, Stun is not really sure whether this was like a, this is, oh, no! oh, big kill, five kills. Um, this, right now, Stun's not actually sure about the natural base right here. If this was a drop with the natural base or what, yes, it looks like it's a proxy, but he really has zero scouting information. Yeah, he doesn't really know what's going on. I'm pretty sure he could surmise it was a proxy, um, but... It it he wasn't too incredibly just, quick though. It could have came from his main. It's it because it waited I mean, it, a couple. It was about as fast as it could go. Uh, I think it was basically as the racks finished up where he put down his factory. But uh, either way, no, it was pretty, a lot after. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, no, um, it, it was significantly delayed. Actually, I was for a while. All right. Well, I don't know. Maybe it does. Maybe it does. You already had three I'm marines really, out from the factory right now. now. Uh, the. Yeah, Stun's going to be moving up into this uh, bunker now. Uh, Blink is, of course, ready, so he's just going to be trying to trade off some shield health and his stalkers for health on that bunker. And force it. Yeah, the SCVs oh will have time off the line. Mules start to time out. It's, uh, yeah, this is this is what the Three Gates Blink opener does. And Sayak, hoping to force a pro pull with that medevac, isn't going to. Uh, Stun's not doing it until he knows there's a threat. Yeah, I really like I really like that medevac in the back of the base of st in the, I mean in the stun's main base. I like a little bit of mind games going down, but looks like actually I love this left hand side. Stun is going to try to catch one of these medevacs. Hopefully, if it can, oh. one stalker by itself. See if it can spot it, but not quite. Actually, they're gonna uh, they're gonna completely go around it and look up and be kind of uh, kind of I mean completely oblivious. Like what's going on? But finally, Robo facility is down. Robo Bay also is down, and there now is an observer. Really, stun is in a nice position in the game. Finally, getting into where he wants to be, and he's. He's actually eight workers ahead, surprisingly enough. Just the, I mean, even though even though there was damage done with that initial attack, the natural base was so late. I think it was at like the eight or nine minute mark for Cyark. Yeah, it did come down uh, quite a lot late because he committed fairly heavily into his gas to actually get that. Yeah, just the Hellions. I think it was more yeah, just the Hellions the getting out that 200 minerals. Yeah, they built pretty quickly. They're a big, big mineral drain. Um, but yeah, now Colossi are on the way for stun. Uh, Cyox, I mean, his tech isn't late exactly, but it's it's it was all in the wrong position. Uh, although he has now floated his factory back, or sorry, his starport even, not the factory just yet, uh, back to the main base and got it pumping out medevacs. Uh, I mean, he did fairly well at preserving his medevacs, so he's still got, like, one out on the map. Um, mm -hmm. Three, actually. Oh, two just finished. Uh, yeah, he still had one from all his uh, drop shenanigans with the wind mines. Uh, he's got another one up in the kind of top left up here, but it's kind of trapped right now. Uh, he's just waiting. Yeah. Waiting. I, Watch. I feel like both players are really nervous to take their third. I mean, right now, Sark's saying, you know, I don't even want to do that, but at least for stun, he's got the probe there, and he's kind of, he's, he's, he does not want to commit to that. He had the observer on top of the army, and both players are kind of in a stalemate right now on two bases. Finally, actually, nice from Sark. We'll get a nice scan to take that out, but now it's up to Colossus three centuries. Stun could do this. We've seen some beautiful force fields, but he's got to be very careful. Yeah, a little bit deceptive there, actually. Sayak was carrying a lot of his army in medevacs. So, scanning that observer, taking it out, letting him know this is what how big my army is, and then comes in with a lot more. The force fields are good, though, and they're going to hold it off for a little while. But, I mean, Sayak, yeah, he, he just forces another round of war pins, trades off fairly efficiently, and he's not really going to be able to push up, because 
There are those force fields. At the same time, Stun is moving in with a warp prism pretty surely. He's just got it up in the top right, right as Syok moves out some of his reinforcements. Yeah. Uh, Stun again scout down on Syok's third base. Stun kind of wants to cure a third base of his own, but he's not going to be able yeah, to for no. a little while now. Now moving out oh. with the second Colossus. But oh, he's got to be gotta so be... careful around that with a mine. Yeah, Stun has to be very careful. I do got to remember though, there are eight stalkers in the in the main base, but they're really, I mean, they're prepared for those drops because there is an observer watching one drop at least for now. And now sees all three of the drops, he should be more uh, ready for that. But now Zealots in the third base of Sark. I love that as I was saying, both players kind of scared to take a third. Warp Prism still is not moved in the right hand side, and it looks like actually Sark is gonna is gonna regroup. Now the observer does see the double, uh, sorry, the triple meta back in the left hand side. I'm a little bit worried for stun if a really big stim attack comes up into the natural, but if that doesn't happen, he's in a fantastic position, especially with the third base gone of his opponent. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he still hasn't secured a third base of his own, but he's building up the Colossus Count. He's building up the kind of unstoppable death army. Usually as a Terran player, you want to have a bit of an econ lead, and the mules do provide that to some extent, but uh, not the greatest turn. Now, oh, oh, that was a pretty big hit. Took out a couple of sentries, uh, but now the woodmine gets cleaned up. It has more than paid for itself now, but without the sentries, there's no force fields. There's nothing, nothing stopping the bio gang on top of these colossi, and they're going to step straight on forwards, takes one of them down, uh, and takes out a lot of these zealots as well before backing on off stun. Still hasn't done anything with this warp prison just yet. Uh, the observer getting taken out is going to deny any detection for woodmines. Uh, and Sayak, he still is not moving in with those drops. Stun is 100% ready for it. He's actually sitting just like right underneath the observer. And yeah. Supporting so much of a commitment by Stun with those uh, stalkers away from the main battle. Yeah, what was really, really interesting is those medevacs never moved in. Now, maybe he saw the observer, but Whoa. the entire time the medevacs were sitting there, same as the stalkers were also sitting there, but finally stalkers will be moved and actually blink down to try to take this army. There is currently a nice warp into the main, but it's going to be completely cleaned up, and Stun has the entire main army on the on the run, but finally all the units go into the main, the natural, sorry, oh, the main man. of Stun with his beautiful drop. The entire army is out of position. Stun knows he needs to go for the attack. There is no mothership core with his main army that would be able to teleport from there in. I mean, even probes are being pulled across the map. Yeah, there's not enough energy on the Mother's Core for a Folk Nova Charge or anything. Stun has to go for this now. Uh, he's fully committed. Uh, there's a couple of Colossi with this, three Colossi. And that's going to mean the site has to turtle up a little bit. A couple of Marauders getting into the bunker and are going to be firing around those Zealots. The SCVs are pulled, but not there in time to repair the bunker. It is tanking a clock. The SCVs meet probes on the field of battle. Uh, uh, the SCVs are being swiped away though. Big, big oh, chunk take for Sayak, but the Colossi, there's just no answer to them. It's gonna try and surge forwards, and it looked like the so Protoss army is all getting taken out in the main. GG. GG. Sayak going 2 1 and moving, or not moving on to the round of eight, but moving on to the winner's match. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to support the ASL by hitting the button now.